Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Mitz from Level Up Bassin. Super excited about today's video. I am finally going to change over. Yes, I'm changing over from my Optima batteries to an Epoch 36 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. I've been waiting for this for a while. It came in. Let's get to it. So here it is. This is the lithium iron phosphate battery from Epoch. It is a 36 volt, 100 amp hour battery. The reason I'm so excited about this is my Optima batteries, which I'm on my third series of them, I believe, they're starting to go. And I was looking for a battery that really had the it factor, just something a little bit more than everybody else. So after a ton of research and reaching out to the company, I picked up the 12 volt, 100 amp hour, and I've been playing around with that for a couple of months, and I love it. So it was time to do it. Jumping into this 36 volt battery is a game changer for me. There's a Bluetooth app, there's 100 amp hours. It's just a solid piece and it's gonna work great in my setup. I'm running a Lowrance Ghost 36 volt trolling motor. I am gonna eliminate a bunch of wiring. I'm gonna eliminate a bunch of hassle and the charge and the usage all through the Bluetooth app. So let me show you what I'm going from and then we'll pull this out of the box and show you what I'm going to. All right, so here's what I'm moving into. I'm moving out of a mountain of Optima batteries and I'm moving into this one battery, the 36 volt, 100 amp hours with a ton of other features. Included with the battery is an external battery meter, mounting hardware, and documentation. It's really all you need. Once this battery is in place, you can monitor the charging, you can monitor the usage, you can monitor the battery life, you can monitor the temperatures of each of the cells. You get all the stats you need to make sure this is running properly. On top right here, we got the Epoch onboard 36 volt charger, and we'll be putting that in as well. So I'm basically eliminating three batteries, dropping down to just one battery, and I'm eliminating another set of cables for each of the batteries, as well as the charger to each of the batteries. And I'm going down to a nice, clean, simple setup. So we're gonna drop this in place, hook up all the cables, and I'll show you what that looks like. What we have here is the 36 volt. This is connected to the Epoch batteries 36 volt charger. That is wired, obviously, directly to the battery. The battery is wired to a waterproof breaker, 50 amp, and that basically runs right up to my ghost trolling motor. So as you can see, pretty clean, pretty easy to diagnose with the Bluetooth app, extremely helpful. So here's the other side. This is the 12 volt, which basically handles all of the electronics, including my power pole, my front graphs, and a side switch panel that I mounted, which I'll show you as well. Here's my process that I'll have to do once I'm ready to go fishing. Power on the battery, hold it for three seconds. The Bluetooth light will kick on if that turned blue on the screen, you'll see it. Come over here, hit my master switch on. That's going to provide all the power I need to my fuse block. Then I put in this guy right here, which is just a secondary switch panel. I turn the switch panel on, regulates, shows the voltage. I have my primary fish finder up front, my secondary fish finder up front, my active target, my LED lights on the deck, and my LED lights in the live well. So pretty clean little setup. And it takes my 2004 Tracker Avalanche and, like I said, upgrades it to compete with the big boys. Okay, so really the last thing is to talk a little bit about charging. Charging habits and kind of the way you think about it has to change a little bit if you're coming from a lead acid or an AGM battery. Lithium ion phosphate batteries just handle things quite a bit different. There's a lot more technology built into them. Before we get into it, if anything in this video has been helpful, please like and subscribe. I can't tell you how much I'm thankful for it and how much it really does help out the channel. The battery management system has to be on for the battery to receive a charge at a high rate. There's a MOSFET relay which sits behind that which is kind of always on. It basically handles the directional flow of charge so it's either, so I think there's two in the battery, one handling incoming and one handling outgoing. That being said, 
the BMS has to be on for it to charge. The method of thinking that changed for me is now with the Bluetooth app, with the external meter, I can actually look at my battery and figure out how much is left for the next tournament. If I'm coming back from a tournament now and I have 60% or 70%, I don't really have a need to charge it again. I can actually just shut it down and leave it in place and it's ready to go the next day. If I do need to charge it, the charging ability of these lithium iron phosphate batteries is so much better than AGM and lead. They charge at such a faster rate. I plugged in the 15 amp charger that came with my Epoch 36 volt and I think I went from about 30% to 100% in just under four hours. I think it was around four and a half hours. Which previously, if I were to charge my lead or my AGMs, it's pretty much on all night and then it's float charging the next day. So if I needed to get some quick juice and my batteries were low, I could plug it in for two or three hours and probably have enough to run a standard tournament. What I'll do is I'm going to be on the water in a couple of weeks. Our tournaments are just starting up here in the Northeast. The weather's finally getting a little bit better. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a log that is the charge when I started, uh, the distance that I travel, and then the battery remaining when I get back. I'll actually take a few captures of the app as well. My 36 volt ghost trolling motor, the 36 volt battery, it'll just be some nice stats. So hit that subscribe button and definitely I'll follow up with you on the next video. Thanks for watching. It's Mitz from Level Up Bassin. Stick around for the next video. It'll be coming up soon.